What's up fans of Fresto Mundo and welcome to Burma Marca Argentina and we are here in this beautiful valley and I'm gonna show you this really beautiful place so stay tuned. I know I haven't filmed in a while nobody really watches the channel except for my loyal viewers out there thank you so uh, today we're gonna go see some salt flats do a little hiking eat some food and show you this beautiful town Check out this view behind me. Beautiful mountains. There's red color mountains. It's gorgeous here. So uh, stay tuned for the grand return of Presto Mundo Argentina edition. Some really cool houses in this town, uh, Burma Marca, built into the hills here and there's big cacti. It's gorgeous. And uh, this town is just north of Jujuy. We are in the very north of Argentina. near the Bolivian border. Not gonna go into Bolivia today, unfortunately, but we're gonna do some exploration. Guys, I'm in this restaurant here, and they have llama meat on the menu. I feel like I need to try it. I'm a little nervous, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try a bite. I'll ask them how it is. We'll see how it goes. A little nervous. Stay tuned. As I caved and ordered the llama and bananas, I was pressured into it by the waiter. The chef's back there talking on his phone, so let's see what happens here. I'm a little nervous, but let's see how it goes. I have my llama meat and banana here with a little bit of sauce on it. Uh, I was told to put some sauce on it. Let's give it a go. First bite reaction. A little bit sweet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan, but I'm gonna eat it. I paid for it, and it's not. I think it's fine. I think it's just the concept in my head that it's llama meat. It's a little weird, but but now uh, we've got this amazing tortilla de papas, uh, basically a potato uh, pancake of sorts, kind of like a laki for all of my Jewish friends out there. But uh, yes, let's try it. Potato tortilla is fire. Really, really good. Highly recommend this one. Very, very good. A little bit, little bit better than the llama empanada. I don't know. We're climbing up to 14,000 feet here. We just came up this ridiculous road here. I'm in this van. This whole trip over to the salt flats costs a thousand pesos, which is about five US dollars for like a four or five hour trip. So it's pretty cool. Crazy road. On to the next. Hopefully, uh, I think we're stopping at 14,000 feet, something like that, 4,500 meters maybe, and then gonna drop down to the salt flats. We have reached the tallest point of our journey today, 4,170 meters. 4,170 meters. For all my fans who hablan Spanish. And uh, beautiful views. Uh, this is the top of our uh, journey here today. I think it's about 14,000 feet. And now we're going to descend to the salt flats. So uh, I hope it's really cool. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, we made it to the salt flats. We're out here in the Salinas Grandes de Jujuy. Um, it's hard to see without the sunglasses. It's so bright because the sun reflects off the ground. So this salt flat here is in between five and 10 million years old. They're not really sure. They can't pinpoint it, but it's unbelievable. It rained yesterday, so the reflections are amazing. You can see the sky from the ground and we're at about 3,400 meters, I believe, so roughly 10,000 feet, more or less. And it's gorgeous, my first time at a salt flat. The, we're at the third or fourth, I'll put it below, largest salt flat in the world, in the north of Argentina. So this is pretty amazing, and I uh, highly recommend coming here. And they even mine salt here, I'll show you guys a bit later. 
but they even mine salt, and some of that salt might be on your dining room table. Guys, this is crazy. Just miles of salt. <laughs> Never seen anything like this. It's pretty damn cool. Guys, I had to put the hat on because I am absolutely frying out here. The reflection of the sun off of the water and the salt goes right to you and just burns the heck out of you. But I did wear sunscreen. I am responsible. But it's really pretty here. There's a few shops. There's some empanada st uh, stands. All of these shops over here, they all have products made of salt. Little statues. They don't want me to film because I'd have to buy something but I don't really want to buy something because I only have a backpack. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you want some collectibles or some take-home items, definitely come check it out. And now we're going to head back to Puma Marca and maybe walk around the town a little bit, show you a little bit of that. But yeah, I hope this was a decent return to Presto Mundo for you guys. All right, guys made it back from the salt flats. I had a little bit of motion sickness, altitude sickness, did not puke though, no vomiting. We're good, now we're going on a little hike. We're gonna take a bus back to the city. Check out these mountains, they're bright red. So now we're walking on a little three kilometer, one point something mile trek, trek called Paseo de los Colorados, or I believe, the the trail of the red mountains but yeah we're gonna go walk it now see what it has in store for us and i'm gonna show you some of the beautiful views the rocks the sediment now how would you guys like to play a game of football or soccer for all my american friends with this view this is nuts oh my god there's mountains all around me literally every side this is amazing Walking along here, it's a dirt road, so you could drive it if you don't want to walk. Everyone's walking though. Crazy tall mountains, red rocks, and then there's green and like maroon colored rocks. I've never seen that before, it's really cool. Lots of different sediment. I took a geology class in high school. It's been a little while, so I can't really give you some insight right now. But some great sedimentary deposits here. Well guys, today was a crazy day. I can't believe I tried llama empanadas. I've never done anything like that, but uh, glad I did. Probably won't be eating them again soon, but it was a beautiful day exploring the north of Argentina. I had a great time. And uh, yeah, that's it from Argentina. On to the next destination soon. And if you want to, stay tuned after the credits for a few scenes that I filmed in my rental apartment in Argentina. As always, presto mundo para el mundo. All right guys, I'm gonna show you how these elevators work. They're a bit strange. All right, so the elevator rides. You open the door and then there's another door that slides open. I'm filming on my phone right now. You get in here. You close the first door. It starts beeping at you. Close the second door. Then you hit with your elbow because of COVID. You hit the floor and you go up, floor by floor. I'm out here in my messy jersey in my apartment building that I'm staying in at the moment here in Argentina. Then you arrive to your floor, open the door. Both doors, step outside, close the door. And that is how an Argentine elevator works. So I'm here in my rental apartment. I want to show you the washing machine here. It's crazy. 
never seen anything like this, I promise you. I'm sure some of you here in Argentina have in other parts of the world, but I've been a lot of places and I've never seen anything like this. So let me show you. So you open it, and then there's this little bin here that you have to open. And you put the clothes in there. Never seen anything like that. You put the clothes in this bin and you close it and it washes like normal. But it's weird.